I was just wondering, you guys got any like cute sisters out there that would like, you know, possibly date, you know, a ball singing guy? Hi, I'm Elric Ferris here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel, bringing you an unboxing that will rock your world. What's this all about today, baby? Oh, we unboxing something really nice. This is the new Gigabyte. That's right, it's the X79-UD5. One of the middle high-end motherboards from the people over at Gigabyte. I'm suave, I'm beautiful. Where's your sister? Okay, so moving into part two of the unboxing, we actually do the unboxing itself. So let's check it out. Here's the outside of the box. We'll start off here. Sorry about the glare. Lighting requires that. Do you guys see it? it's the X79 UD5 Ultra Durable Series? Got their 3D power, their 3D BIOS. Obviously, X79 chipset use all the new Intel CPUs. I'll just keep going forward because I know you guys want to see what's in the box. Real quick to show you guys the outside of the box. This is the actual nomenclature and the model number. Flip around just real quick, show you guys the back of the box. There's lots of stuff on there. But basically, these guys are pushing their three way digital engine, which is their digital memory, digital CPU, and once again, digital memory. Memory zone A, memory zone B. So it's basically the same thing, but as you can see, there's two sets of memory on each side of the board. They also feature their dual BIOS technology. This means that if one of your BIOSes go bad, it'll automatically go over to the other BIOS so that you won't be down. You'll actually be able to start your motherboard back up and possibly even flash the other BIOS back to a good BIOS. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and unbox this bitch. Top a little top here. No scissors or knives involved today, folks. You can try this at home with your kitties. Right. So right at the bat, we have the board, but I'm not going to look at the board first. I'm going to go look at the accessories pack first. You guys know me. So you guys can check us out. Inside the box, a lot of stuff for accessories here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the box over and set it all down for you. We're gonna start out with the bridges. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and go all the way for you guys and uh, take everything out. Here's one of the SLI bridges. So we'll bring this stuff out in the camera range here. Here's one of the SLI bridges. Here's another SLI bridge. That one for triple. That one for just dual. We have a USB 3.0 breakout box. We have the X79 series utility DVD. And then we've got the GC Wi-Fi. This is for your Wi-Fi adapter that's built on board. All the driver and stuff for that. Keep on going through here, get everything out of here. I'm gonna grab the stuff so we can try to keep this in some kind of semblance of order. So here will go a pair of SATA cables. Set those down there. The rear I.O., which is actually very, very nice. It tells you everything that's on there. Hey, you can just read it here. Clear CMOS, eSATA, USB 3.0, 1394. Gonna have another USB obviously 2.0 there, two more there. This is gonna be all your analog stuff. Obviously, from the green and purple, you're going to have both the old school PS2 keyboard and mouse stuff, too. So, really good fleshed out rear I.O. Little thing right here. This is going to be the Wi-Fi that we spoke of a second ago with the driver. This is the bracket. And then this is the driver for that bracket right here. This is the Wi-Fi. Pretty well built. A lot of stuff on a little piece. For now, I'll just go ahead and set that down. We have a crossfire cable here. So we have a single crossfire cable. Go ahead and set that down. Multilingual installation guidebook. Here's the manual. Now I'm gonna open up the manual and just look at a couple things here because I know in a couple of my unboxings, you guys have got me on the, on the secondary controller and stuff. So I'm going to flip in here and just see what everything is in here. So for storage controllers on this board, yes, we're going to have the Marvel controller, it's present, and the Intel X79 controller. And then the last thing in the box will be the power cable that goes to the wireless, along with the two wireless antennas so that you can get your reception. And then last but not least, we get the GC Wi-Fi, which is all in uh, Chinese. And then we have another one right here, an installation guide. So installation guide in English, installation guide in Chinese. That's about everything you see there. This is everything that comes in the box of the new Gigabyte X79-UD5. We saw the content. Now let's actually move on and take a look at the motherboard itself. Gonna go ahead and just pop it open here. Make sure myself is nice and grounded out over here. I'll 
pull the board out. You guys can take a look at the back of it real quick. See the nice back plate. There's even a little piece of tape for some reason on the motherboard. Very interesting. All right. So let's start off at the motherboard. Yes, there she blows. Look at that. Black on blue. Looking pretty cool. Looking quite a bit like MSI's board, actually. Their color schemes are quite similar. So we'll start up here at the top of the board. We see that we have the 8-pin power connector up here. I'm going to go ahead and just move that all the way forward. You guys can see the 8-pin power connector there. You can see the CPU fan one there. We have the restart switch right over here. Actually, I think this, I believe, is the power switch. So we have the on power switch right here. Then we'll move over to the memory. You guys can see there are two sets of memory banks, one on each side of the ZIF socket. This board can feature up to 128 gigabytes of quad channel DDR3 memory. As far as ZIF socket goes, you guys know this is ZIF socket 2011, supports all of the new Intel i7e processors, 3960, all of those bad boy things. So we're going to move down to the 24 pin power connector right over here. Going to move over here. We can see we have one, two, three of the PCIe slots. Then we have two other PCIe 1X slots and a standard old school PCI slot down here. This is the non PCI Express slot. There's just standard PCI, by the way. You guys can see the heat sinks completely covered over here. And this board has kind of an unusual design. On most motherboards you see right here is a huge heat sink along with another heat sink running all along. The way they designed the board, they have just a heat sink here and then a heat sink here. Actually leaves a lot of open space on the motherboard. Looks pretty good. I'm going to turn the motherboard over now to the side. As we talked about before, there are two different types of controllers on here. There's the Intel controller and then there is the Marvell controller. These ports down here are the Marvell. They support the new SATA 3, 6 gigabit a second all the way across the board. The white ones down here on the Intel, they support the 6 gigabit of transfer rates, but these two black ones, these are the old school SATA 2 ports. Before we get to the rear I.O., let's just take a look at a couple other things on the board. Right down here is the reset switch. It's a very small button. I'm just going to try to bring it even closer to the camera range so you guys can see that. Over here, this right here is where you're going to connect all your wires from your case and everything onto the motherboard itself. These are some more of your USB breakouts. And I think I missed it over here. This right here is the USB 3.0 breakout box as well. This is where the breakout box plugs into. Didn't want to miss anything. You guys know this board has all good parts all the way around. These guys use all expensive Japanese parts on their board. That's one of the good things about them. I think most of the companies are doing that, especially the high-end ones. So let's take a look at this rear I.O. I've conveniently placed the rear I.O. on there so we can read it easily. Right here, we can start off. We have two of your standard USB 2.0. Then down below that, we have your legacy PS2 keyboard mouse. Over here, we have a clear CMOS. Then we have another BIOS button right here, and then an overclocking button right here on the outside. Here, we have both eSATA ports. Above that, we have two more of the regular USB 2.0 ports. We have two more of those right here. And for USB 3.0, right here, we have that. Here's also your IEEE. And there's actually an additional SATA right there on top of that. That's just your standard SATA port. Last but not least, let's just take a look at the audio, which is over here, and the RJ45 for your hooking up your internet and all that stuff. For digital audio, you have a single SPDIF, and for your analog, you have all these other controllers right here. These are the auto jacking types, so whenever you plug it in, you can auto sense and put it to whatever you want to do. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. This has been the unboxing and first look of the new Gigabyte. X79-UD5 motherboard.